The Battle of Otluk Beli or Otluk Beli was a battle between Akko Yunlu and the Ottoman Empire that was fought on August 11, 1473. Reasons for the conflict Mehmed II's aggressive military policy in capturing the throne of the Byzantine Empire resulted in the fall of Constantinople in 1453. Independent Byzantine Greek rulers continued to rule in some areas after this event. One of these domains was the Empire of Trebizond. When Mehmed was to turn his face to the east to clean up the remnants of Byzantine rule in 1461, he was faced with another Central Asian-originated power, the Akko Yunlu, a tribe that ruled huge lands in the eastern Anatolia. Their leader, Uzun Hasan, continued the tradition of close relations between the Byzantine throne and his own kingdom so he supported the empire of Trebizond and sent him military aid but his support wasn't enough to save Trebizond from the Ottoman forces. Mehmed II conquered all of the Eastern Black Sea region. Uzun Hassan decided to seek help from Christian powers because he thought that the Ottomans would return for his own kingdom. Therefore, he decided to sign a treaty with the Republic of Venice, the rival of the Ottoman Empire at that time. In response to Uzun Hassan's treaty with Venice, the Ottoman Sultan Mehmed II first sent various Janissary contingents commanded by various figures including Radu Selfromos. These contingents guarded crucial garrisons and awaited the Ottoman onslaught on the Anatolian rebels. Another reason for tensions between Akko Yunlu and Ottomans was the political standing of another powerful Anatolian tribe, Karamanids. Qasim Bey, the ruler of Karamanids, was supporting the growing power of Uzun Hasan. These two powers were working in cooperation against the Ottoman advance in Anatolia. In 1471, a successful Ottoman operation against Karamanids reduced the power of the tribe. This gave courage to Mehmed II to move deeper into Anatolia. Battle Mehmed II returned with his army in 1473 to defeat Uzun Hasan. The Turkomans had a traditional army that contained considerable amounts of light cavalries. On the other hand, the Ottoman army was using the latest technology. They came with rifles and cannons. This difference between the natures of the two armies marked the result of the battle. The Ottoman side gained a decisive victory, whereas the Turkoman army was nearly destroyed in a single day. Aftermath Ottomans nearly destroyed the power of the Akko Yunlu in the east. Akko Yunlu would be destroyed completely by Shah Ismail of Iran in later years. This victory of the Safavid Empire would create a new enemy for Ottoman Empire in the east. The race between two empires ended with the fall of the Safavid dynasty from power in the 18th century.